and back her? What's your answer? No. I'll never sell my land to a clerk. Get out of here. You old fool. I've had enough. Oh, Byron! You villains! He's dead! Why have you come here, boy? I'm looking for Carranza. What do you want of him? I want to learn to kill. I am Carranza. To learn with the great Carranza costs money. Not much. But it'll do. Lisa, my boy, a thousand dollars isn't much. But you seem to be all right. Have you handled a gun before, boy? Well, yeah, a little. Hmm. We we'll see. You ready? Yes, sir, boss. All set. Okay, shoot. <laughs> you need help, boy. Here. I'm going to show you. It's a weapon. You don't play with it. You make it work. For you. Show me your hands. Mm. You must have hands as soft and gentle as a woman's, not callous like this. Senor Hud, the boss wants to know if you're almost ready to begin. softer already. It won't be long before you have the hands of a gunman. To be able to shoot is an art. You shoot with your heart, your eye, and a cool head. I'll remember that. You'll remember when I teach you.
No, no. <laughs> you wear your belt low down by your hands. Ready to begin? That's much too low. You're still way off. You must keep your wrists tight. Faster than that boy. Watch me. That's the pace you want. Don't forget, boy, if a gunman is slow, he'll be dead. to business, boy. No jokes. Well. No. No alcohol. Never. You'll end up full of bullet holes if you don't have a steady hand. Yeah, but I'm thirsty. You'll drink milk, boy. And like it. but he'll be out soon. Thanks for everything, Carranza. I'm going now. Adios. Boy, wait. Tell me now who you must kill. The ones who murdered my kinfolk. Ah. Oh. Best of luck. Adios. Senor Hurd. Senor. The boss wants you to have these.
the desert, friend. You just came across it? You look like you brought most of it with you. <laughs> Jason Clark, you took my land from me. But I'll get even, because now I'm the one that has a gun pointed at you. Listen, mister. Get out of my way. You better go on back home. If you're not looking to die, get out of here while you can. No one's going to stop me now. I told you to get out of my way. Give it to me. It's better for you. Now beat it as fast as you can. <laughs> Listen, that old fool could never have gone through with it. But anyway, thanks, stranger. You don't owe me anything. Stranger, if you're looking for work, I can help you. I cost too much for you. Why, mister, you cost as much as a pine box about six feet long. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bartender. <laughs> what will it be, stranger? A glass of milk. Milk? <laughs> I said milk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Linus, don't you think you'd better give this poor little baby his milk from a bottle? <laughs> You're pretty good at shooting glasses. I'm a better shot than you are, mister. Let's see. dollars on Jack. Who'll take it? Me. The stranger. Great milk, Linus. I knew you'd come back. It's over a year now. Oh, look at the little squirrel over there in the tree. You see? It's all the same. But you, 
No, it's not that you're now a gunman. It's something different. I can read it in your eyes. I've waited so long for this moment. But now I'm afraid. Afraid to ask you why you came back. I came back for them. Listen to me. Please, Hud. You mustn't do it alone. The clocks are madmen. The clocks don't even know what I look like. And when they find out who I am, it'll be too late for them. And for you. Steve and I discussed this. And now that he's sheriff, he's looking for proof against the Clarks. Old Steve, sheriff. Don't put yourself between those murderers and justice. Justice has never arrived here in Stoneville, Betty. It's different now. Look, I, Steve is your friend. Why don't you trust him? It wouldn't do any good. Please, Hud, please don't. You have to come and talk to him. Please. Okay. It's really a good thing that you weren't here before this. You wouldn't have been able to do anything against those killers. Well, now that you're back, I can help you. Thanks, Steve. I can help myself. Now listen, Hud. The minute I have proof, Clark will pay, and you all get back your land. That won't bring my folks back to life. I have to get revenge for them, don't you understand? Just remember, this madness can only mean trouble. Now, will that change something between us, Steve? That depends. Take it from me. Why not read it from the good book? Be sure of your actions. Because you must always remember that man is not to judge. Only God may judge man. for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, the Lord has said. Who lives by the sword, dies by the sword. Hunt. Finally can, huh? <laughs> Did that nosy sheriff see the letter? Nope, but gave it to me as soon as the stage arrived. <sighs> this is it, boys. It's coming through, the Union Pacific Railroad. They say the railroad will bring prosperity to the West. One thing is sure, they'll bring it to us. I can't wait to leave this stinking place, boys. I'll go back to New Orleans. Huh? No, I'll do huh? soak myself in a champagne bath every day. <laughs> <laughs> this is a house. Who can that be? Lord. They'll be forced to bring the railroad through this valley. And they'll have to pay us in gold. Mm-hmm. Who the devil are you? Do the clogs live on this ranch? Yes. There's nothing to worry about. It's all paid for. For what? For what? 
For the funeral! For the funeral! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ron Clark! Huh? <laughs> there will be a funeral, but it'll be yours. <laughs> Now, what have you done, you idiot? Don't you have enough enemies? We all have enemies, Jason. It's a family weakness. That's a stupid joke. I've never met anyone with the courage to face the Clark brothers. Maybe you're right. Especially when you're all together. light here. We're a perfect target. And you've put those men outside too close to the house. You heard him. All right. Our respects, General. Come on. That's your room. You hear that gunslinger? He starts giving orders as soon as he walks in the door. Yeah, I don't care. He knows his job. I'll say, I feel safer just knowing that he's here. Yeah, well, who else can we trust? That moron over there? Hey, boss. Shut up, you. Anyway, that big mouth isn't worth a grand you paid him. Just because it's my skin, not yours. Quiet, you! Lon's right. Oh, shut up. I don't want him to hear. You're too nervous. Go to bed. 
And in my room, it's safer for tonight. That's a good precaution. I'll go with you so I don't lose sight of you for a minute. I slept like a log, thanks to you. Don't thank me. It was a thousand dollars sleep to me. <laughs> Say, how much will you make on that Valley of the Sun deal? Hey, what do you know about that? Only what I heard at the saloon. Oh, a nice bundle, boy. At least 300 grand. And your part is one third? Yes, sir. You can bet on that. If you're alive. Otherwise, your brothers will split half and half. Your horse is ready, senor. Gracias, senor. Hey, Hud. Where are you going? I'm off. Jason, come here! Wayne! Jason! Come on outside! Hud's going! What do you mean? You've been paid, haven't you? Yeah, for a day. Stop him, Jason! He's going! But not with my dough. If you want him, pay him out of your share. Hud! Okay! You stay! How do you like our setup, Hud? It's a thousand dollars a day that helps me put up with it. Sheriff is coming, Jason. I'm going upstairs. Sheriff spoiled my appetite. Yeah, it'd be better if he didn't see you here. So you got trouble with the law, eh, big man? Shut up, Jack! Howdy, Sheriff. How about something to eat? No, thanks. What do we owe the honor of this visit? Jack, you go get your things together and come with me. You need a deputy, Sheriff? You got a sense of humor. He's gone to my office. Maybe you'll get him back. This is my house, Sheriff. You can't take one of my men without explaining. I know you're the thief that stole the Simpson cattle. They recognized you in San Antonio, where you sold them. Come on. Just a moment. This is a dirty lie from someone who hates us. Tell it to Judge Gowan in Houston. No, he'll be back. I don't think so, Jason Clark. There's a patrol of cavalrymen in town. They'll take him to Houston. What? They got soldiers at Stoneville? Yep. The Comanches are causing trouble. Come on, Jack. Let's go. Go on. I'll get you out of it. But maybe... Trust me, Jack. See, I don't want trouble with the law, Sheriff. It won't always be your men who have to pay for what you do, Clark. You don't need to worry, Sheriff. It's about two days to Houston. We'll take good care of your prisoner. Thanks. It was lucky you were passing through here.
Sheriff. They've arrived from Union Pacific. I know all about it. You know what will happen if they buy Valley of the Sun. We must stop the Clarks from selling the land. We need your help. What do you think I should do? You must bring them to justice. The backers were murdered. And before that, the Greasons were murdered, too. Almost everybody has gone, and those who are left sell for practically nothing. I need help in order to nail the Clarks, Clayton. But you haven't given me any assistance. And whether you like it or not, they're going to keep right on murdering and taking your land while you clam up and say nothing. I'll calm down, Steve. No one here is holding you responsible. Listen, Clayton, you need more than one man if you want this to be a good town. But if you expect to have justice, first you've got to fight together to make that justice. Two bits. What are you going to do for Jack? Huh? I pass. We'll send a few bucks to Solomon's. Mm -hmm. He'll fix it. Fine, you're too jumpy. Your nerves are shot to pieces. Yes. In my room tonight. It's safer. I can't take it anymore, huh? I can't. I understand. Every day afraid you'll die. Fighting an enemy without a face. Something like that could drive a man insane. Uh. A gun doesn't help much if you don't know who to shoot. You don't know who it could be. Imagine you've got him in front of you like you've got me now. <laughs> Throw the shell into the chamber. Hear the music of the bullet going into the barrel. Stare your enemy in the face. Feel your hate get strong, and then shoot! 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 Shoot, but with the gun loaded, Lon. Take it. And don't leave the house. You might only suspect you hear a noise. Shoot, Lon. Don't wait. Don't hesitate a minute. Just shoot. A moment's delay might mean your death. Where are you going? To get you some coffee. You may need it. Lon doing? He's resting. This whole thing is getting more and more ridiculous. Calm down, Wayne. Just a few more days and we'll be leaving here. I get the impression you'll be out of a job soon when we go.
This is the end for you and your brothers. The three of you are murderers. You killed my parents, and now you're going to die. I'm the one who's been tormenting you, Lan. I... Hud Backer. Backer. Too late. Lord, we entrust to you the soul of Lon Clark, killed by a revolver bullet on the 20th of April, 1869. And the Lord said, you who have lived in my name on earth will be at my side through all eternity. <coughs> Come on, man. Come on, let's get going. Those Union Pacific men are waiting for us in Stoneville. I can't wait to get my share of that 300 grand. Here, Jason. I never accept pay for a job gone bad. Uh, Lon will be happy. He'd like to spend his dough well. What are you going to do with him? Arrest him? We're the only ones who know he did it. But he'll never let himself be taken alive. But Hud is your friend. Don't you understand? It's hard for him to forget what the Clarks did to his mother and father. I haven't forgotten it. But I warned him he shouldn't take the law into his own hands. Justice. <laughs> it's easy for you to talk of justice. Because you don't have the hate that he has in his heart. You know that I love that boy, Betty. Then, Steve, don't give him away. Help him if you can. Tell me how. Because if I arrest Hud, he'll be in more danger. I know. They'll try to kill him in jail. All right, let him kill them. You want those killers dead, too. Well, then, between the gallows and a bullet from Hud, What's the difference? What are you doing, Hot? You're going? Your cigar is out. Huh? I see. You know how to be useful. Stay. A plate of beans can always be found for you because we're generous, we Clark brothers. doesn't need your crime. Lon? No, comprendo, senor. We have been sent to mourn the death of senor Wayne Clark. Who sent you? Who's paying you? Tell me! Tell me or I'll tell you! I know nothing, senor. I tell you I know nothing. The mayor of water sent us here. I know Why? nothing. Cut it out, Jason. The old man knows nothing. What's this got to do with you? Your enemy is too cunning. He wouldn't have given away his secret to such a man. Killing that old man won't accomplish anything. Just get you in trouble with the sheriff. Or maybe you think Mexicans can be killed off like fleas. Mr. Clark, Ed and Gabe have left the ranch. The saddlebags and horses are both gone too. Traitors. Where are you going? 
I don't risk my skin for a plate of beans. Wait a minute. Stop. Okay. A grand a day. The horses are all saddled. We can leave now. The road to Stoneville from here is not safe. I've seen some places where he could shoot from with very little risk. Hurry, Wayne. It's already late. I'm not going. You can't stay alone. The man will have to come with me. Seems the ranchers have been putting up a fight lately. Just leave me with Hunt. Oh, I forgot. Come here a minute. I've got something to show you. Union Pacific to buy the whole valley. Is your railroad going to cross the whole valley or not? Yes, that's what we want to do. Unless uh, you want to climb up there, amigo. There's snow about eight months of the year, and the Comanches will amuse themselves by attacking your trains. But this is blackmail, Mr. Clark. Where you're from, they call it business, Mr. Hackett. If that's what you think, we can forget about the whole thing. As you say, we might go on. Yeah? If your price is reasonable. I'm always reasonable, Mr. Hackett. Fine, Mr. Clark. Oh, by the way, this morning, Sheriff Benson kept telling me that you were not exactly honest. Believe me, Hackett, everything's above board. We'll go to the ranch afterward, and I'll show you the deeds of the property. I can't live another week in this filthy place. This is what'll get me out of here. The property deeds of the Valley of the Sun. Ah, New Orleans. New Orleans. You don't know it, Hud, but there's life for you. Mountains of caviar, rivers of champagne, and herds of women. <laughs> I can't wait. Do you think Jason will come by the river shortcut or by Diablo Canyon? Diablo Canyon. For a stranger, you seem to know these parts very well, you know. Jason says that you're the only one who could have killed Lon. <laughs> After that funeral man, we sent a fellow to Juarez. But they didn't know anything. The man found an envelope under his door with a grand in it. <laughs> My enemy spends a lot of money, doesn't he? Hud. Must be somebody who gets it easy. Like me. What's your name? 
Hardbacker. Hardbacker. I see. The backers of the Valley of the Sun, right? Yeah. I'm the sun. <laughs> Skin I want, Wayne. Don't shoot! I'm not armed. I didn't kill you, folks. It was Jason and Mark. I didn't have a thing to do with it. I swear! <laughs> it's Jason you have to kill! Stop your mess like this. I, uh, I'm going back to town. Nobody's gonna pin this on me. Nobody. I'm leaving. Sheriff. You know why. No else. Only your own money. Sheriff, you have to save me. Stop that murder. Stop him before he kills me like he killed Lon and Wayne. Wayne? Yeah, I'd killed him. Filthy gunman that I paid to protect us. If it was a fair fight, I can't arrest him. No. He shot him in the back. He's a killer. I'll find out about that myself. Wait, you idiot. He's gonna kill me. I know. Hunt's out there. Waiting for me. He'll kill me before you get proof. I need proof to arrest a killer. You know that better than anybody, Jason Clark. That's why I couldn't arrest you when I wanted to.
You frighten me. You kill to get them, Hod. No papers are worth it. Tell Steve I got them, and with my own justice. Hod! Please wait. There's more besides revenge and death. There's life, too. Yours and mine. No, I don't ask you to forgive, but please, please try to forget. Hud, take me away from here, far away. We can start a new life together somewhere. I know I'll never have any peace as long as one of the Clarks is alive. But you can't continue to kill and run all your life on the run. No. You're not the HUD I love. You're cold. Unfeeling. You're a man without a heart. You're no better than the clocks. Sheriff, arrest me. If I'm your prisoner, then I'll be safe from Hunt. Why should I? I know. The Simpsons' cattle. I ordered the boys to do it. Arrest me. Jack's paying for that one. Remember? You can't leave me like this. It's your duty to protect my life. Give me a confession that you used violence to extort the land in the valley. And I'll do my best to protect you. It's him, Sheriff. I'll sign anything you want. Then let me have your gun. Justice. Now get out of here. Go on back home. You're making too much noise for me tonight. I'm wondering why you're getting mixed up in this, stranger. The life of Jason Clark belongs to me. Hud Backer's the name. Did you know that he was Backer's son? I want to know. Tell me. Will you stop whining, Jason? You've been doing nothing else for the last two hours. Steve. Steve, it's me. Open the door. I didn't see you come back. Here, I have something for you. Hud, these deeds are all I need to have. Now I know I can get you convicted. What's happening, Steve? I'm taking Jason to Houston. Wait! Are you mad, Sheriff? It takes two days to get us over there. You know Hud would get me out in the open? 
Before getting you, Jason, he'll have to kill me. No, Steve. Don't go. Hod is ready for everything. I know. Don't worry, Betty. They wanted to lynch him. Judge Gowan won't be here for another week. And in the meantime, Hud will be watching the jail. But, but if he's out there, how do you think you can get out? I have two horses ready by the back door. We should have several hours advantage by the time he finds out. Go home, Betty. Wait for me and don't worry. Sure, Steve. Sure. Why should I worry? I'll wait. Wait until someone comes to tell me who I have to cry for. You or Hud. What's the matter with this town, Steve? Why do you two have to fight each other like this for, for a man like Jason Clark? Why, Steve? Why? I'm sorry for what I said before today, but when things are like this, it's just that... It doesn't matter, Betty. It matters, Hud. It really does. I thought I'd lost you today. I don't know. Hud, why can't we understand each other now at all? The boy that you used to know doesn't exist anymore. But, but that can't be true. Don't you understand? I'm a woman, a woman who is deeply in love with you. Please, I'd try to understand. I want you to take me in your arms and hold me and never let go. Oh, hold me, hold me, hold me tight. If I only thought you needed me, and love me. I need to feel alive in your arms like this. forget about getting revenge. But you must help me. I think the two of us together could...
It's a good thing you're such a bad shot, Steve. You should know, Hard Backer never shoots an unarmed man. Target for Hunt Backer, Sheriff? Hmm. You better try and get some sleep. Tomorrow we'll try and reach the stagecoach trail. And don't try to escape. Hunt's just waiting for a chance. trail. As soon as we get there, I'll feel much safer. Jason Clark. Get out of the way, Hud. No, Sheriff. You're not going to deliver him to a judge who will decide to drop the case. My justice is more rapid and surer. Free his hands. It'll be a fair duel. Stop, Hud. Stop! I, I'm ready for anything. Don't force me to kill him without a chance. received orders from Fort Travis to escort you. Do you have any wounded? No wounded. Thanks, Lieutenant. We'll be ready to leave in a minute. We were surprised by the Comanches. I'm the sheriff from Stoneville. This man's my prisoner. We're on our way to see Judge Gowan. We can travel with you to Houston.
This is a signed confession, Your Honor. The prisoner signed it in my presence. And these are the deeds he obtained by force from the settlers in the Valley of the Sun. Just a minute, Your Honor. May I see those deeds? Naturally, Counselor. Here they are. Proceed, Sheriff. The ranchers who were lucky received a few dollars for their land. The rest were driven out in panic. Their crops destroyed, their cattle slaughtered or stolen. And there were those who gave their lives to protect their own property. To what do you refer, Sheriff? To the murder of Byron Backer and his wife. But up to this time, we've not been able to find any proof. Isn't that just a guess, Sheriff? I bet this trial will be over in less than half an hour. But, Solomons, can we... Trust Dutch? Of course. I wouldn't worry about a thing. He'll be able to take care of Hudbacker. There he is. He's only waiting for my say-so and the $5,000. OK. Admit, Sheriff, that my client was threatened with death when he signed this confession? Yes, but Your Honor, the Sheriff has admitted that he obtained this confession under duress, and therefore it is not valid. It seems that way to me, Solomons. Uh, in regard to these deeds, you will notice they've been signed by Wayne Clark, the unfortunate brother of my client. This is not evidence against Jason Clark. Everyone in Stoneville knows the man responsible for this is him, Jason Clark. He's back of it. Sheriff, these deeds are all signed by Wayne Clark. This court reserves the right to examine the validity of these deeds and to restore all the lands to the rightful owners. As for the case against Jason Clark, the court declares this case closed and the defendant, Jason Clark, is free. So much for your court of law, Steve. Are you hot backer? Jason Clark sent me. He said he'll meet you in front of the bank. You can tell him that I'll be there. Gracias, senor. This is it, Hud. Let's finish it. You or me?
peacekeeper, everybody. Jason Clark pays. Those shots mean Hud is dead. Dutch and his boys will be around to collect. Here's the five grand to pay Dutch Solomons. And there'll be just as much for you. What's all the shooting over there? Dutch and his boys are shooting out with the stranger. One Dutch, come on. over. Hud Backer got what he deserved. Save this one for you, Jason. with you, Hud. No, Betty. What sort of a life could I offer? I'm a wanted man. And wherever I go, there'll be someone who will want to show he's faster on the draw than I am. Will you come back? Goodbye, Betty. Oh, 
Three days.